No. I came here for a reason, and uh, I'm not leaving until you hear me out. Take a break, cuz you're missing a real show Yo, outside. Yo, Kevin, your little brother's telescope sure came in handy. What, you guys got an astronomy project? Uh, more like anatomy. You know, I don't think your fraternity brothers are taking this study session all that seriously. Oh, but we are. We've been studying some heavenly bodies. Venus and her moon. <laughs> all right, what gives, Powell? Don't blow a fuse, Kevin. We were just playing around with Joey's scope when we saw this window across the street. A uh, couple of girls getting undressed. <laughs> I don't believe you guys. Real mature. Oh, lighten up, Rachel. Well, that is if you can. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing, nothing. He just thinks you take yourself a little too seriously No, no, sometimes. I don't think that's what he meant at all. Oh, well, the thought police are out. Looks like we're not politically correct enough for Ms. Gannon. Don't hide behind that phrase, Todd. I'd rather be politically correct than a bigot. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, who's calling names now? All right, just cool it, you guys. You know, this is supposed to be fun, well, don't right? Don't blame me. You know, hit the books, drink a few beers. It's your girlfriend here. She's always looking for a fight. Yeah, well, some things are worth fighting for. Oh, what, like this? This, <laughs> the, the struggle and the dream, the march from Selma to Montgomery. It's for Professor Maxwell's American history class. We had to do a work-study project. But what do you mean, had to? We wanted to. I mean, this was your idea as much as mine, Kevin. Oh, Rachel, it was a good idea, but it was your idea. You're the one who wanted to study the civil rights movement of the 60s. Oops. Looks like we got our own little struggle here. Only now, who's the oppressor, baby? You know, Todd, I have had it with you and your cheap shots. Oh, Rachel, can't you just take a joke? Well, this, this is not a joke. This, this is a racist remark. You know it, and all of you know it. Oh, blind. Besides, I would never discriminate against a woman as beautiful as you, Rachel. You hear that? He thinks it's funny. Whoa, Todd, buddy, uh, I think you've had enough beers for one night. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Enough of this study stuff. Let's go drive past that house and check out the heavenly bodies. How are you talking, Zach? Yeah. Got too serious around here. Uh, come on, we are out of here. Oh, I'm sorry to see you go. Look, Rachel, I was just teasing you, okay? So chill out. Uh, good night, Kev. All right, Rachel. Hey, thanks for the brew and the view. Good night, guys. Powell, you're driving. Will do, cuz, will do. Later. Why do you let him get to you like that? You know, Todd, he could be a jerk, but he's not a racist. Oh, yeah, and since when are you the expert on racism? I think I know a little more about it than you do. And if you think your friend Todd is harmless... Why does everything have to be black and white with you? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't mean it like that, Rachel. No, that was what? a Freudian slip, huh? You know, I'm not the one that made it black and white. It was your frat brother. But you just stood by his side. Oh, by his side? Well, what, what side is that? Is that the white side? Well, don't put words in my mouth. You're always there to stick up for your so-called friends, even when they're obviously wrong. Maybe it wasn't obvious to me. You well, know, maybe I was the only one that cared. Maybe you hear what you want to hear, Rachel. You know, there is such a thing as being too sensitive. You're looking for bigots and racists everywhere. You know who you sound like? You sound like your father. Getting Marty to come over to the fraternity house is just the first step. I mean, she's not going to be thrilled at the idea of tutoring me. But she's got to help you if you... Flunk the calculus final, you're off the football team next year. No, 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 you've got to sell this to her. I mean, Todd's got a talent for calculus, like a camel has for tap dancing, okay? But Marty's a natural. Oh, unbelievable. When she doesn't show up to class for weeks, and then she, she, you know, she finally does show up, she breezes in, and she aces the midterm, no problem. Okay, I'll take these guns. Uh, hey, Marty. Look, Paul, I'll catch up with you later. I came by to see you, not your rat boyfriend. Whoa, 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 Marty, Marty, hold up uh, a sec. You're right. I want to apologize to you. Oh, come on. Give me a chance, huh? I came on to you in front of that bartender guy. Uh, really sorry.
sorry I came on to you, period. And, I, and I'm, I'm really sorry I, I was such a, a jerk to... What's his name? Sweet. I didn't mean anything by it. I just get... Hey, you know, sometimes I just get... No stupid. Yeah, stupid. Well, uh, Marty, if Todd flunks the calculus final, he flunks the course. He flunks the course, he's off the football team. Look, I mean, it's not like we care for Todd so much as our one lost record, you know? I mean, we, you know, we, we really could use your help here. I mean, you're the only one that could do this. <laughs> when you put it like that, so pitiful and everything. But I mean, the final's tomorrow. How do you expect me to work a miracle like that in one night? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you've got the math gene times ten. You, you ace the midterm totally hungover. Come on, pretty please. I mean, help a jock. Well, I guess it'll help me study. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> I knew you'd come through. I mean that. Hey. Hi, Rachel. Hey, cuz. Oh, Kevin, there was a phone call for you. Where? Who from? How? Leanne in Texas. She said she wants to talk to you. I gotta call her back. All right, I'm sorry. It'll just take a minute. I'll be don't feel long. Thanks. Yeah. Mm. Listen, uh, Rachel, I, uh, I wanted to say I'm sorry that I upset you, you know, the other day at Kevin's. Woo! I, Good while you can, Rachel. That's Todd's second apology of the day. Must be some kind of 12 step. Hey, program. come on. That's not fair. Oh, isn't it? It's pretty unusual for Todd to apologize for anything. Well, Kevin really chewed me out about, you know, what I said, that, that, that remark, and. He explained to me that you were, you know, kind of touchy about that stuff, and so on. Touchy? Touchy? He said that. Well, he said you were super sensitive to racist comments, so I should be more careful. So you won't make them around me? No. I... Well, all I meant was... Well, you didn't get it the way I meant it, and, and, and I'm trying to say that I'm going to be a little more careful. He said that, huh? Super sensitive. I'm gonna get at it with Marty pretty soon. We'll be going all night. Wait a minute. Is this a necktie alert? If there's a necktie on my doorknob, you step foot in my room, I'll hang you from the rafters with it. Wait, don't be a dope, Todd. You need to study. I will. Study calculus? This is your only shot of passing. Passing? What, what passing for a touchdown? Oh, passing like a little methane over there with Kevin. Come on. Passing for human, man. I mean, it's a real close call with you. You know, don't blow it. Todd, the team's counting on you. I'll be a good little soldier. That's right. Oh, finally. All right. Here. Break time. We got a lot more to do before tomorrow. That was just one problem. Oh, uh, yeah, but my brain is fried. And we could use a change of pace. Like what? Like a lesson in love. <laughs> Those tutors are much more expensive. No, 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 no. No, I'll, I'll teach you. You touch me just once, and I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Marty, cut me some slack. We're, we're a lot closer than that. No, we're not. Just because I slept with you once doesn't mean you own me forever. I'm not the same person I was then. Well, it wasn't that long ago. How much could possibly have changed? Either we study or I leave. You decide. Wiped out or calm down? Both. I have never stayed up all night to study for a final. I think it's going to work out. Yeah, well, one marathon study session is not going to make up for a whole semester of goofing off in calculus. Yeah, but at least now I'm not going to flunk the exam, thanks to you. You really bailed me out big time, Marty. Thanks. Well, it's hard to turn down a panicking man. Yep. Do they really kick you off the team if you flunk this course? Oh, definitely. 
Next fall, they'd have to take the field without Todd the round. I didn't think you needed calculus to knock guys on their butts. Only in college. Well, it's been a long time since I've seen you smile at me. Listen, Marty, I know I... Uh, I know we got off on the wrong foot, and things have been kind of tense between us, but I really do think that we're pretty good together. I'm mm, a teacher and student. Sure. No, I, I was thinking we really ought to study, you know, other courses. I'm sorry. I can't help you with that subject. Yeah, I'll get this book for you. I didn't mean to crash your party. <laughs>